Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I am not on my account. I'm on my buddy Asian Thunder's account, and I actually got him here as well. Asian Thunder, how you doing? Doing great. Good. <laughs> That's it. What am I doing supposed great. to say? <laughs> That's a good, what the fuck That's a good answer. If you guys don't remember, um, I actually brought Asian Thunder in for a video in the past. If you guys haven't seen that, check out this video here. It's actually a video talking about doing the auto farming and how to maximize your battery. Today, what we're going to be doing is Asian Thunder has graciously allowed me on his account to do some reaps. Asian Thunder, I mean, maybe tell everybody a little bit more about yourself. So I'm currently in SSA. Been in SSA for a couple years now. I joined to become like a siege main for the guild and help people to come up with offenses and defenses so we can win. I just help people who don't know how to do siege in our guild they are very strong rta players but they don't know what the good defenses are or what we're testing or a good way to test new units are so that's where i come in and then a lot of us yeah we have a lot of nat fives and a lot of ld nat fives but some of us don't know like what comp to use it on maybe i come up with something and it's a win for them not many defenses that when people are coming up with offenses know how to deal with it aloha everybody before we get into today's video i'd like to thank raid shadow legends for sponsoring today's video badass champions check tough bosses check millions of players check years of content and regular updates check and check raid shadow legends has it all this game brings back everything i remember about my childhood all with gameplay i can take anywhere don't miss out on this opportunity and use my links down below to download raid yourself to play on either mobile phone or PC. All right, guys, so I thought something cool that we could do today is kind of reminisce and go back on some of the Raid Shadow Legends integrations we've done in the past and just take a look at them. This was from over six months ago, so let's, let's check it out. Hello, everybody. Before oh, we God. All right, I, okay, all right. Why do I have crooked glasses? We're gonna go to the index section down below and within mm -hmm. this index, you can actually see a multitude of families Fun fact, there's actually even more characters and families now, and Raid is still updating and adding more in. It's super easy to get into. You're able it to is. collect and obtain. Okay, so, I mean, this is also wrong, right? You got 120 day daily logins. This goes far greater than this. Probably from now until eternity, they're probably gonna give daily login rewards, which I think is great. So, that's pretty cool. Over 25 million downloads and over 1 million. There's a lot more, but now, a lot more now. All these treasures will be waiting for you. So I'll tell you this, guys. First off, I just want to say thank you to Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring us. Uh, it's been great to share this game, play this game, and share with our community. I will add, you know, after watching this, um, it was kind of funny, actually, kind of re-looking at this. It's crazy to see how much the game has changed since this, so now, less than a year. So I'm looking forward to more bigger and better and crazier things for Raid. Raid just released their biggest update ever. The main event is here, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors and a bunch of secret challenge rooms and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. I've been waiting for this for a super long time and I just can't wait to dive in. There's really never been a better time to start playing. And here's the best part. Raid team is giving away a bunch of new free goodies, plus a super special champion to help get everyone started in the tower, Bulwark. He's an absolutely awesome character for clan bosses and also going to be a huge help in the tower against those bosses as well. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is get into my video description down below. Click on that special link, download Raid today, and you'll get a free Void Champion, Bulwark, 50 gems, an EXP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in the game. Download Raid using my link in the description or the QR code on the screen to get all of the rewards. All these treasures and more will be waiting for you here. But keep in mind, this is only available for the next 30 days. So download Raid today, and I'll see you guys in the game. Now, let's get back to the video. I heard you said like a slot 1 and 3 or something? This is what you're targeting today? Yeah, mostly I target innate violence. I need a little bit more depth in order to make more siege defenses to test. So my slot 1s and 3s are pretty weak. I only have like maybe 3 or 4 runes in each of those slots. I would like one more. Typically, as we've suggested before in the past, violent runes, will runes always are going to be really good to rehab. Innate runes, runes that have this additional stat right here, innate, right under that main stat, you're not able to get that stat anymore below. So it benefits you if you can get a, fl a flat stat, accuracy or resistance so that you can, you know, roll the other stats or have a higher chance of getting them. Typically, you're going to be prioritizing slots 2, 4, 6. But if you're an endgame player like Agent Thunder here, you're going to target specific slots that you need for your own account, right? So I think we're reapping this one here. A lot of players would actually, you know, look at keeping this particular rune just because, like, it could do a lot, you could be good for a damage healer. But end of the day, you got to see what runes you need and you have to understand that this is definitely not going to be one of the most efficient runes. You're not going to be able to grind a bunch of stats. You're not going to be able to gem out perfectly. You only get two grindables max here, right? Gemming out the resist and grinding that and grinding attack. So you want a little bit more value. Like this one on the right, it does have a little bit more value in the grinding, but obviously it's not going to be at the level that we want. Let's take resistance because resistance is the best. <laughs> resistance is pretty good though. It is, like, it is. Especially on defense. Ooh, that's Ooh. actually pretty good. That I can one. use that because 
I would just gem out crit damage for speed. Like, I'm not always looking for super fast runes. I'm just looking for very efficient runes. So we're missing 2% attack, 1 crit rate, and we're missing 4% HP. So that's really good, right? When Agent Thunder talks about, you know, a purple rune or a blue rune, we're not talking about the amount of hits in there. Well, we're talking about the amount of hits, but based upon max rolls, right? Is, isn't that right, Agent Thunder? Yeah, pretty much. I, I'm looking at dependent, like crit rate can roll from 4 to 6. So mm -hmm. that rolling, just an extra roll in there and getting 11. So I'm one off there and it's pretty much a max purple and me gemming it out, putting it in, it would be a very efficient rune for me. Easy crit, crit damage gem, easy grinds in there. It's a really solid purple rune, right? So you guys are gonna look at this and be like, this that's a legend rune though, Island. This is considered in our eyes, a purple rune because we go by max, right? The max could have been 8% attack, 12 crit rate, and 32 HP. And if you count what's missing, that's about one roll, right? So typically you'll never really hear somebody say, hey, I have a legend rune, right? Cause that's like a perfect, perfect rune. You'll hear like purples and like purple pluses where like they're a little bit more premium, like almost there. You have to do this one anyways. There is no way you would sell a seven res like slot three, right? You might sell a non innate. You might sell a really garbage one when you're at this level, but you have to, right? Throw a couple yeah. in here to make it usable, no? And the reason why we keep innates is just to make them usable. If they become like an amazing room, it's great, but most times I just re up to make them usable. When you guys are watching these, once you get towards the end game as well, you'll notice that players will often min max, right? These innate stats not only make it easier to get the stats you want rolled for re apps, but it actually, at the end of the day, they're good because you get additional stats, right? Your typical legendary runes and normal runes. You get your normal stats, your normal hits, right? But with these innates, you get that a little bit more. Probably what sets like SSA different from the other guilds is like we hit all those stats. Plus, then we also have like the good resistances and accuracies, which which is why our defenses win much more often than others. Let's get I something nice. Remember. Let's get something really nice. That is. Oh. This is my bro science, okay? You take the bad one. All right. So you get the good stuff. I've done this before. I've done You've this done before. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the real one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay. You take the third, third. Okay, this is it. Fuck. It's building up to this one. God damn it! There, I got you baited! I got you baited! That one. Yeah, but that's exactly what you're talking about, right? No rolls at the beginning, and then you get you baited right at the end. You want to hit You want to hit a couple in here then? Since you're chasing sure. something. Okay. This would be nice for a bruiser because that seven extra crit damage is big, right? Let's say you hit crit rate, speed, you know, uh, HP and, and, and defense. That's massive. That's a dream actually on this rune right here. I also have friends who, um, if it's a bad one, they always pick the after one. They think of it like flipping a book. So then you're just flipping from the right page and you keep going on. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing right here because this is, uh, <laughs> this is beautiful. This is, this, this is yeah. very beautiful. <gasps> oh, oh, that was so close. If this was higher accuracy, but it's good. It's good. I mean, I mean, it's better than left. I mean, I, you can leave it like this. You're missing, what is it? 2% defense, one speed, and five accuracy. So almost that max purple, right? Just that accuracy could have been yeah. just a little bit higher. Would have been pretty good. Yeah, this one I can see using it on maybe some sort of offensive monster that I'm thinking about that just needs stats. But this wouldn't be a, a defense rune for me. This is usable, you know? Yeah, I it's can usable. See myself using this. Yeah. And I don't have to like gem or grind it and getting gems I mean, it, for will is pretty difficult. It is, it is. Or else you would try to min-max, hit like an 11 on, you know, the HP or something. But that's that's the only thing yeah. that maybe attempt. Maybe All something right. to make it usable. I'm not looking for anything amazing. You want you want high crit rate. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is actually usable because you gem attack. Oh, I do that. That's yeah, really good. yeah, I'm good. You gem that's attack, you got three grindable. So if you guys don't know chat, uh, oh, no. I'm talking like we're streaming live. It's not live, we're recording. If you don't know, accuracy is really, really good to get on a slot two for all your units that need to have any accuracy at all, like a Hathor or anything like that, right? As well as slot two is also really good to get all your crit rate for any kind of bruiser or damage dealer that needs to get it. Cause it just, it's a little bit more efficient to be able to grab it from there and, and leave the opportunities available for all the other rune slots, right? All the other available slots to get other stats. And for a 98, only that much reaps, that's good. We're done with it. This one, um, yeah, I mean, it's under, under a purple. Some people might keep this and then just gem crit damage for like speed and call it a day it looks okay but then when i'm thinking about how i'm gonna use it it feels like it's gonna stay in my inventory for a long time so let's try yeah okay I mean, it's, it's i still take the left one. Oh, uh do you, you? Efficiency wise, is the left still better? Like technically, isn't the left still better? I mean, sure, the after re app one, yeah, you could take out True, the it is. HP, HP percent. In terms I'm of like blue like... plus and purple perspective, this side's actually better, right? Because you're you're three speed over, 
your three speed over, your two attack under, but your your uh, four crit rate over. But it, that's just that's just mid maxing, right? Because this one would be an HP gem instead. This one would be a speed yeah, gem instead. Yeah, because I have a speed gem and I just don't have an HP gem, I think, to use on. Oh, that's a smart way to think of it as well. Strategically, I didn't think about that, dude. I want to hit you a thirty speeder. Oh, we can. Um, I mean, this would be an HP two, gem, and then you would five. have a max crit rate. See, I could also see myself like taking out resistance and putting crit damage. Yeah, the HP is optimal, but sometimes when you're building units, maybe you want like slightly more damage and the crit damage would help. Right. I'm thinking we're taking this. Uh, this looks a little better than the left side, I guess. Sure. I okay. You still want to hit another one on this? It's all your choices, man. I, I gave you um the slots I want to hit. Yeah, I just like putting the pressure on you. So if we hit nothing, you know, uh, I can blame you. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty bad. This one's pretty bad. Whenever I'm using swap or trying to make defenses, I'm like, oh, I can't. This unit is not going to be good because I'm missing like a good slot one or a slot three. Usually like before re come out, if I think about buying them, I would, I would be making defenses or certain units and be like, what am I missing? And sometimes I just chase like a couple slots. Okay, uh, now we're getting to slot five, right? Every slot's got a different story. Slot five, I mean, if you you know want to look at it and see what's the most optimal, you would want four grindables, right? HP, attack, defense, and speed. Obviously that's not what we have here, but we could gem in attack or we could even gem in you know speed, which is probably what we want here. Um, we're gonna still keep going on this, right? Because this rune probably doesn't have a lot of benefit for you, even though the rolls are okay-ish. Mm, I can keep it where it is and then okay. maybe play around with it because maybe all of a sudden Bisons might be really good for Siege meta and they really want defense HP, not so much speed. And I could easily just put plus 12 speed and this is a good accuracy rune too. Did you want to do violent slot threes or go back to will slot threes because we're doing wills? Violent slot three. Oh my god, this is so bad. Bad you have to take it, right? That's so bad, dude. It's a four, 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 five, five res, five, six defense, and then one roll HP. That's so bad. Can't you get max roll HP like plus three? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god, uh... you lost the rest of We got zero triple speeds, man. I think I just, I just, I just destroyed a G three account. Yeah, I'm, I'm single handedly <laughs> sabotaging SSA. <laughs> That's gonna, oh, that's, gonna that. that's gonna be title of this video. That's gonna be title of the video. Sabotaging SSA through 50 reaps. You guys heard it here first. You guys okay. probably already knew though. For most players, this looks okay, but I mean, let's let's keep going. You wanna keep going on this or? We gotta keep going on this. When you have like a rune with a lot of crit damage and violent, in general, you're gonna be missing crit rate. And it's gonna be hard to fill up the crit rate. Oh, oh that if you didn't hit that act, dude. Ooh. It's so sad that accuracy is low, or else I would have. This was like a really nice rune. I it's still think it's nicer than left side, yeah. Yeah, it's a purple, but because if you use this, I'll you're what? You're there. just regemming speed, right? If you're using this. Yeah, and I really don't like um, reapping innate crit rate. It's mm. really, for me, I like it having like maybe one or two rolls into crit rate. Okay. So we'll keep it there. You got the innate in there. You have this rune, right? What are you going to do? Think about it. Are you going to throw it away? Or are you going to throw one reap and, and it's going to be better? Because this is so bad, right? There's no way it could be worse. There's literally no yeah. way it could be worse. So you just throw one, and if you get. Oh, this is very good. Okay, if you get this kind of rune, you just throw one and then okay, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Throw Let's one go. And done. That's a one and done, baby. That's a one and done. That's actually not not bad. Not bad. The efficiency is not bad as well. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, you can you can even you 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 can go spunky with like legend res, legend ack, probably legend ack on this, unless you want Possibly to do crit damage. Right, right? It depends on what you want. Some going people for. also do defense for defense too, because you can get four percent more defense. Oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's true. Like legend that right, and then just keep the res. Yeah. That's true. At least we got a triple roll. Yeah. Uh, what what would you say in fifty? How many do you usually get? Like I see usually like two. Yeah, I feel like two is a good number. Yeah, I see people. Number. With zero, I've seen people with five, but in general, when I do my own, I've always seen two. What are you trying to say? Trying to throw some shade? What are you trying to say, man? You say, you say I suck at reapping? Huh? You can still get another triple speed. Um, we still have reaps. You wanted to do this, but I, I don't know. You, you, we're going that, this again then, I guess? Or you want to go back that to one, Will? That one, Will slot three then. Because okay. you already gave me a usable like pilot. Yeah, but like if you would look at that, that's a max res. You have to do that eventually, right? Like, yeah. One day. But this this is pretty close to it. This one's garbage, so let's go for this. Okay, well. I hate seeing Sorry, we just hit tens. a hot one, you know? Oh, yeah. I hate nine. Nine is the worst number in Summoner's work. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is. Like, you triple roll, like, speed? 19? 19 that's is not, the worst. That's not good. 20? I'm happy with 20. I'm not happy with 19. Dude, 19 is literally a blue plus one speed. Let's go one last one here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you have any more targets aside aside from the ones you sent me. We, we upgraded them. Um, I would. I would this? have to look around. Do, do you, yeah, 20 I could see myself using that, actually. 
Okay. I, that's like pretty decent for me. Triple roll crit rate, like you can always find a reason to. Right, because you use can't you can't grind like. crit rate, right? So it's it's kind of hard to get sometimes. Ooh, you want accuracy YOLO? was like, <laughs> you want YOLO? I'm kind of down to YOLO. I don't have any like good uh, triple. Me neither. Accuracies. You remember back in the day when a lot of people still considered accuracy so garbage, they just insta sold it, and then nowadays it's like people realize that you know if you need units to have 85 plus accuracy, this is one of the best ways to get it, right? If it's efficient, yeah, way better. And you can cover it with like HPs and stuff. Oh, oh, man, dude. Yeah, I hate these runes, right? We get first baited. Two, first two, you see nothing here, like triple roll speed right here. Uh, I'll go two more, and then you let me know how many more you want to try in this. This is real. This is literally... Oh, fuck. Oh. This is literally speed chase, so... The thing about crit damage is... Crit damage runes, I don't find, like... You need a lot for defenses. Mostly is HP percent. So me, or I already have maybe like two or three that have triple roll speed crit damage. And that's enough for me to play around to make some sort of defenses with it. Oh my god. Uh, don't worry, I'm just turning the page here. I'm just turning the page here. Don't worry, this is the last one. Just turn the page. Just turn the page here. Don't worry, don't worry. Hold on, hang on, hang on. Oh, that could have been so good. Why couldn't it be speed, dude? That was that was gonna be good. All right, last one, last one. Oh, better, uh, but such low rolls. You know we you take it though. Going. You, you want... take it, but you keep going. You want to keep going? We're going on this Yo, one. Just blow like the last four on it. Okay, okay, let's, let's go. Happens, let's right? blow the last four. I like to blow. I mean, I like to use. Never mind. All right. I mean, no. I, guess, I guess the debate and it doesn't hit speed feels better than knowing right off the bat that you hit garbage, right? Nah, you see 9 carry, you already know the room's not gonna be that good. Oh, oh. Why, dude? Why? It sucks that it rolled into flat attack. All right. That was gonna be a good one, though. Last one, last one here. Do I still have my, my thing to cover? Here it goes. I'm gonna move it down. Because I'm, I'm looking at the... the... Wait! Wait, don't, don't, don't react, don't react, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. You are you can see the screen and I, I, I'm I looking at the OBS. I forgot to change it for you. So you know what it yeah. is, but I don't know. I know what it is. Oh! Oh my god, I didn't want to look the rest of this. Alright, never mind, never <laughs> yeah, mind, this is a terrible you, idea. You see the first one, you're good, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know, nine. Alright, dude, well, uh, thanks for letting me destroy your account. I mean, thanks for letting us uh, do some reaps on your account to, uh, you know, further improve your account. I think all in all, those 50 reaps were not that impressive. I'm going to rate it myself not impressive. We did hit a triple speed, which is nice, but we want to hit more than that. We had a couple fat runes, which might be improvements, but all in all, in my opinion, uh, yeah, let me just get some hearts in the comments down below for uh, Asian Thunder uh, and uh, some uh, some good lucks to SSA as they compete in whatever siege competition in the future because I think uh, we just sabotaged them. Yep, we just made them weaker. Uh, hey, at least uh, you make the tournament a little bit harder for us, right? Ah, a challenge. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Exactly. Well, Agent Thunder, thank you for taking time to join me uh, for the video here today and uh, letting me re-up on your account. Uh, seriously, it was, it was fun. It was, it, was, it was nice being able to talk to you and kind of like get your insight on more like um, how you react and what you think about, especially when you're more siege oriented. Yeah, anytime. I'm, I, I love being like part of your videos and doing stuff with you. And showing the community like this is sometimes like this is what like the higher end players try and do to get that like little bit of extra edge. Definitely. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely bring you on for some other future videos and we'll talk more siege stuff, give you guys some strategies and uh, do some more fun stuff in the future. But if you guys are watching on YouTube, hit that like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next live streamer video. Peace out.